Hey folks, welcome back to Keith Gibson's Hot Shots. This week we're going to go over some tactical shotguns, we're going to go over some AR-15s, and real quick I'm going to give you a tip on how to shoot on the move effectively, especially on uneven terrain. Now, the idea isn't just to move really fast, and the idea isn't to move really slow and shoot very accurately, we got to combine those two. So, we're going to try and work on smooth movement, and I have some really uneven ground to play with here, so I'm going to show you just how important that is. You can't take these big steps like you can on flat terrain. It's always good to have control and do some baby steps, but you can do them faster than I've seen some guys try and get away with on the classifier. Stay tuned. Okay, so movement on uneven terrain. What I want to see is that people have complete control. Not that they're going super slow, and not that they're taking these big long steps that's going to make your gun bounce, but just control. You want your gun hands to be as steady as possible so that you can still make those shots. Going, 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 going. It should just be one smooth practice move, and you can practice it in your house. You don't need to do it at the range. Now this part, you do need to do at the range, and I'm going to advance up a hill doing those smooth steps just to show you it can be done. This is one of those classic situations, smooth is fast and fast is smooth. If you try and rush that target, you're not going to group well. If you try and go too slow, you're just going to cost yourself time. And we all know that time is important in competition and real situations. So I hope you can take away just going smooth, keep those controlled steps. And the whole point is to keep your gun hands steady. So if you see that you're bouncing at home, be honest, slow down and do it again. Lateral movement is going to be the same thing. You're going to just take those smooth steps and then you're just going to cross your feet together. If you do a shuffle like this, it creates a bounce. You can't bring your feet together like this and have a steady hand. You have to kind of go cross, cross, cross. The key, of course, is that you know where your feet are and that you practice this so that you don't end up tripping up on yourself. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's no reason to rush it too much. You've got plenty of time. Just go right across, right across, and you have to practice it. All right, so I'm here with Ray from r, &R Tactical again, and he's brought us a couple toys. I'm holding the uh, Remington 1100 Tactical. It's bare bones right now except the extended tube, and uh, I really like the way it feels in my hand, but before we get specific, what is that beautiful thing you're holding? What I got here is the Benelli M1, Super, the Benelli Super 90 M1. Uh, this thing is really nice. Pistol grip, it's got the uh, LPA uh, ghost string sights with uh, tritium on uh, the front and back. Uh, extended tube on there. This thing is just slick as not. I mean, really is. You know, and it looks is, slick. I mean, it looks know, like something I've held. This is a saw grip or? Yep, this is a saw grip. So anybody who's been in the military, What's this, uh, you know, got that really nice spongy uh, feel on there. Uh, you know, real nice in the front here. It's got some textured uh, pebbling here. Keeps a good grip on there. I mean, like I said, the the action is just as smooth as you could possibly make it. Um, you know, Benelli really went out of their way to, to, to make this a, a nice a nice gun. I think all the Benellis are, are fine, the, M, the M2, the M4. But this one, you know, this one started the whole uh, thing. A lot of SWAT departments uh, out there uh, still use this. And I know why. I mean, the, the action is unbelievable. I've shot a lot of rounds through this, and uh, it's never choked on me. Uh, you know, she's more than accurate. She's she's more accurate than I am. So what to say? So, and when you, when you start shooting shooting a lot, you'll realize that most most of these weapons are more accurate than you than than you can be. Um, and you got to live up to that standard. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And just looking at it, the first thing I noticed. I mean, I held it briefly before, and the first thing I was thinking because the last week was where's the safety? You know, we had that issue with Mossberg last week. And this monstrous button is our safety, that's right? right? That's right, right. It's yeah. kind of hard to miss that. I mean, no, nope. yeah, like I said, they thought this out. They, this is a fighting shotgun. This is this is meant to go into harm's way. And they've sat there and they've made the safety exactly where you need it to be. Once again, that was our only uh, criticism, yeah. really, of the 930 Mossberg was that it was up. It was up there. When you put it down here, along with this, you know, uh, this bolt. You know, I mean, here's your your bolt latch open. You know, this has really been thought out well. Like I said, uh, the guys, the guys at Benelli. They know, what they know what they're doing, and that's why, you know, it, it pays off at dividends because the Marines using the M4, you know, the, the SWAT guys, they're using the the, uh, the M1 and the M2, 
and probably the M4 also, I would say. But, uh, you know, they definitely make a good product. Yeah, I mean, that kind of reminds us of all the old military guns, so that's an advantage. But what this Remington 1100 Tactical has for it, for me anyway, Ray, is this is just like the first shotgun I ever shot. Exactly. You know? exactly. Um, it's got the vented rib. Um, it, it, it's kind of tactical, but it's completely... Uh, completely worth having and it's completely standard all the clay birch uh, shotguns that i've used have had that rail so that's normal the safety's in the normal spot the only thing that's kind of bizarre is this big you know yep. uh, bolt handle which is nice to have too it's nice and to it's have not it, your yeah. way yeah we you know when, when when the uh the shit hits the fan you want to sit there and have the biggest bolt handle you can have on, on a semi-automatic yeah, exactly. so that you can just slam that thing open but you're right you hit the nail on the head it is tactical but also Anybody who's ever picked up a shotgun from the time they were seven to, to now has probably picked up a Remington, you know, or, or a Mossberg. And, you know, whether it's a duck configuration or, you know, slug configuration for hunting deer or whatever, this, this, is, what, this is what you're getting. Now with this extended tube and, uh, you know, the big bolt hat, you know, they've, they've moved it into, once again, a fighting shotgun. Right, you know? I mean, right. And, but, you know, the guys who are used to just picking up a shotgun and saying, oh, wow, I have a lot of muscle memory of this, that. Oh, yeah, this, this just feels like daddy shotgun when I was shooting, you know, shooting deer in the back 40. You know, what's his face? That's what, that's what you're going to get. Exactly, you know? exactly. So let's make them uh, make some noise, and uh, we'll, we'll go through the fine points of what we felt like afterwards. There you go. All right, cool. All right, all right so we got the Remington 1100 Tactical all loaded up. We're going to uh, put two on each and then hit that clay popper and try and bust the clay, too. Just give it a workout. It's the first uh, rounds I've ever put through this thing, so we'll just see how intuitive it is if it's just like Daddy's shotgun like I thought. Well, yeah, it is. Uh, that felt great. It felt good. Nothing different than shooting my dad's shotgun at ducks. And uh, as you can tell, it'll work every time. All right, Ray, why don't you run the Remington 1100, see what you think. Okay, I'm going to put one on the uh, uh, right, two on the uh, on Sheila on the left. Beautiful. All righty. Whew. She's sweet. <laughs> All right, we'll try to run it on the plate rack. Well, that's about as nice as you can get with a stock shotgun. All right, so we're going to run that same drill with the M1 Super 90, the Benelli, and, uh, and see how it runs. This has more combat sights. We've got um, the aperture with the high post, and, of course, we have the pistol grip with the saw grip, which is nice. And it's got that big safety to hit. So let's see how it runs. So well, I'll tell you what. It is nice. Um, I like the way that the pistol grip feels. But it definitely feels like it recoils a little bit more, and part of that's probably the lightweightness of this gun, but that's a great feature if you have to carry it all day. Okay, Benelli uh, M1 Super 90, uh, Super 90 M1. I'm gonna do uh, two to the right, three on the uh, Sheila on the left, for, uh, simulated combat, and we're gonna go. She's very smooth. You know, once again, the sights take a little bit longer than the bead sight on the uh, 1100, but she's slick as uh, snot, and she really, uh, she really rocks. All right, so Ray, we're both holding the same shotguns we started with, but I'm definitely holding this one for a reason. <laughs> um, I, I liked it a lot more. The recoil was straight back into my shoulder. Um, the, the sighting system was just kind of intuitive, and it was faster for me. Uh, that being said, it's a lot heavier, and as a patrol gun, I might like that one more, even though it has a little bit more pr trained in practice I need to do with it. But what, what are your thoughts? Definitely, you hit, once again, you hit the nail on the head. Fast-wise, you were blazing with that thing. And then, you know, once again, because you've got so much experience with other shotguns, this thing is just adding to the, the factor there. You're getting, nice, you're getting a nice, uh, you know, fast, fast shotgun with intuitive uh, motions on there. Your manual of arms is the same that you've had since you were a kid, probably. This one here, as a patrol rifle, this one shines. What's it say? But there are some detractors also. It's lighter, so you're getting more recoil. Definitely coming right back into the pocket, you know, with the uh, with the uh, pistol grip stock. Um, the one thing we both noticed when we were loading, 
jabbed, yeah, our, ja- jabbed our thumb. Puts what his, was up with that? We're loading this. Here's the old the old standby Remington 1100. We're loading in there, no problem at all. This thing, it kept catching our, you know, the feed ramp kept, kept catching our thumb in, in the thing there. And not uh, only that, but I felt a hesitation right before the brass would actually go into the sil- into the tube. Yep. Whereas this one just kind of yeah, slid that, in. that was fast. It was slick, bing, bing, bing. This one was t- almost like loading, you know, so, you know, like a a, a, a single shot shotgun almost. Um, once you loaded it up thing as fast as hell what yeah it, says, it was uh the sights they're awesome sights except for one thing it does they're they're three dot night sights so they don't catch the in the front there's not really anything that catches your eye so right. to speak i would i would want to flip it out with a, with a fiber optic true glow or something like that um if i was going to do something do something this thing here had just a bead on there you know your brass bead but when, when we're talking up close and personal fast as hell once again once it's very intuitive very fast this one was fast there's no doubt about it. Uh, a couple of minor changes, and this thing with this thing is is awesome. I know now why the SWAT guys and uh, you know the special ops guys are using these because this is a very fast gun, very lethal gun. A um, couple of changes, but you know it could be us too. What's the It we're, could be us. We're, we're used us, to we're used to uh, you know yeah. like you said, daddy shotgun. What's right. the say, or grandpa shotgun? And what's uh you know we've got the the standard here. This thing has so many nice features. We're looking at some difference here in price tags right oh I mean, definitely definitely this is this is well up you know 13 1300 dollars what says that's you know 799 eight, 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 eight and a quarter something like that right um for the money that thing right there is is is, is the best buy what right says, once again you got the bucks buy a, buy a benelli benelli is a great gun i'm not saying that benelli's not a great gun All it I'm was i mean the, the the action on that was so smooth when i was know, racking the bolt back and forth it definitely. felt great it cycled great that felt good mm-hmm. just those couple you know, and, things and like, we, like we both said you know we're both ex-military if you're going to carry something you want it light what's it says exactly. cause pound, pounds equals uh, pain what's it says this is nice what's it says this would be a great uh, gun that you know for that the uh uh the mp or uh you know, even the grunt to be carrying with this when you need it, when you need it. that, you know, the M4, the uh, Benelli M4 is just as light as this, you know, maybe just a little bit heavier. What's this? Remington, definitely a heavier gun, also easier on the recoil. It you was. know what I mean? It was. When you're doing three gun matches or you're doing uh, whatever, you're going to sit there and love the fact that uh, that recoil is being eaten up because you're moving from target to target, you know, or, or plate to plate a lot faster. Now you brought up three gun. We've got other guns to show you today, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, right. we do. We're going to go grab those other guns. We'll give you a little teaser on what we're going to play with next week. See you in a second. All right, so, Ray, I'm always saying R&R Tactical, there's advantages to having your own <laughs> gun shop. Part of it is you have all these nice things to play with. So what am I holding? Tell me about this gun. Okay, this is a Sig Sauer uh, 5.56. Five, it's called the Patrol Model. It's uh, one of the short SWAT um, rifles. It's a in 223 slash 556. Um, it's got an EOTech uh, HWS uh, sight there. It's got the heads up uh, red dot uh, uh, display on there. Uh, got a four, uh, front guard uh, uh, drop down there. It's still got the saw pistol grip uh, thing that we saw in the Benelli. They love uh, these things. This is a short uh, stroke gas piston, so there's no buffer tube in there. If we lived in, the, in a real a real state instead of uh, New York, <laughs> this thing would be able to collapse and fold to the side, but of right. course we can't have right, that. Right. Uh, that. That's evil. What's right. this, uh, but this is a really accurate gun. I mean, unbelievably accurate. It's nice. It's light for what it is. But, you know, it's got the rails, got the quad rails on there and everything. Um, of course, we've got the um, muzzle brake on the end. We can't have a flash hider in New York. Uh, got to have this muzzle brake. <laughs> um, All right, I'm going to sh- cut you short, though, because I want them to actually watch next week, too. So okay, we're going to play with this. Yep, that's 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 a tactical one there. And okay. then I've got the SIG 556R, or Russian. This shoots the 762 by 39 round. Um, unbelievably nice gun. What does it say? This is an AK who met an AR. And it, the marriage was uh, made in hell. What's it say? But it was—it's uh, definitely awesome, man. Same thing. It's got the gas piston on there. It's got all the uh, ergonomics of an AR, all the internals of an AK. Got a really good uh, six-hour uh, red dot on there. And this thing is just a beast. It is a beast. I can't wait to put them next to each other. Maybe we'll find some uh, stuff to explode with some bullets for wow. next week. Yeah, we might be able to sit there and come up with something like that. And uh, and we'll rock them out. Stay tuned for next week. We'll have a black rifle week. See you later.